Hello everybody, I thought I'd just show you a quick video tutorial on how I would edit this picture. So I'm standing on Bell Reef Beach, or the end of Bell Reef Beach, and I'm looking towards Hobart. You can see Mount Wellington there in the distance in the casino. Now this is quite an underexposed image. Uh, not to worry, I did that for a reason. I did shoot in RAW so that uh, gives us plenty of room to move. So let's get straight into it. First thing I like to do is shadows all the way up and highlights all the way down. If I just move this back here, see this area here that's um, bordering on being overexposed and I'll just recover that area by bringing the highlights all the way down. Now what I'll do next is um, find the white point. So you can move the white slider up and down. Ouch, that hurts my eyes. There's a little trick though. Let me show you a little trick. What you do is you hold down your Alt key. Now grab the whites and it becomes a mask. And as I move this up, whatever is overexposed is going to punch through the mask. So as I move this up, I see more light coming. So what you want to do is have it just so there's a tiny bit showing right about there. Good. And uh, then we do the opposite for black. So again, hold down your Alt key, grab your black slider and move that down. Okay. Until you find like so. Okay. Now one thing that's really bothering me is obviously this picture is very very cool and um, it was actually shot at sunset. That's because I had my white banners all wrong. This is probably from the night before when I was out shooting stars. So um, an easy way we can fix that is by grabbing your temperature slider and just move it all the way up. It's one way of doing it, but as we do that, we're also making the sky a lot warmer, which I don't necessarily like. I do like the blue sky, so I'm going to leave it about halfway. And then what I'm going to do is grab an adjustment brush. Now my sliders are all over the place. Quick way to fix that is hold down Alt and the effects panel becomes reset. That brings them all back down to zero. Grab a brush, nice and big, and I'll bring the temperature right up. And I'll just make the rocks nice and warm. Now I'm going to be a bit sloppy here and go over the lines just to show you how we can fix that. See how I went over the lines here? That's okay. I'll just, uh, by using my scroll wheel on my mouse, make my brush smaller and then holding the Alt key, the plus now becomes a minus and I can go over those areas. Okay, good. Now we've got nice, uh, nicer color in the rocks, and um, we still have the blue color in the in the ocean and in the sky. So I like that. I do find the overall picture to be much too dark. So we're going to change the exposure, the overall exposure. Bring that up. Oh no, that's just the rocks, which I want. So click done when you finish with your adjustment brush and exposure up. Just reevaluate those white points. Yep, good. I like that. I don't like these orange lights though. So to fix that we'll go to our panel here, pick luminance and if I grab this orange, and, yep, 
That's the one. I like that a lot better. That's where we were. And making it light. Less orange. Good. Now I want to apply some sharpness all over. Grab our sharpening brush and now we can go quite crazy here and that's fine because there's a little trick. What we can do is again hold down your alt key and um, as we move this masking slider it's going to create a mask and it'll show us which areas will be sharpened. So as I move this up you can see it's the black areas won't get any sharpening applied so the skies and m mostly the water is going to be left alone and it'll concentrate on the rocks. So I do like some of that water to get a bit of punch. Good. I like that a lot better. Let's have a look where we came from. If you're on a Windows uh, keyboard or Windows machine just hit your backslash key and you'll get a before and after. Good. Lens correction, I'll apply my lens profile and um, see up here there's a, ever so slightly a bit of chromatic aberration so we'll tick that to get that fixed before after. Yep. And I like to apply a tiny little bit of vignetting. So I do make the midpoint small um, and then I'm heavy on the feathering. So good. We can have a look by turning the filter on and off, see the difference it makes. Okay. I like it like that. Now this is good. It's good. It's not great. There's a few things we can do to make this image a bit more special. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of tint to the overall image. Just There's a bit of green in here that's bothering me, so I'm just going to bring in the tint. Yeah, I like that better. Alright, now for some creative lighting. Create some interesting scenes for the eye to look at, to follow around the picture. And we'll do that with the adjustment brush. So we'll grab an adjustment brush and um, I'll just bring that back down to zero or hold down Alt and reset. Everything zero. Flow is 100, density is 100. Exposure, I'll go about 0.6 or so. That's where I like to start. Nice big brush and I'm just going to paint in the areas that I want you to look at. It's going to catch your eye. I do like this here where it was wet, the reflection of the water. And I'm going to bring in this bit here. Basically what I want your eye to do is come from here. Have a look at this, have a look at this, and this bits of water. I'm actually going to grab a new brush and I'm going to bring the exposure down a slight bit and do the water in there. I do like these rocks and the water in these rocks. In a little bit there, in a little bit there. Don't worry, looks very obvious to us, but um, if you're not the one doing it, people won't notice. I do like to play around with the clouds, but actually I'm going to hold down Alt, which is going to make my plus or minus, undo that, because I want more moody clouds. I do like moody clouds. So I'm going to take a new brush again. This time I want to bring the exposure down a little bit, not much, and go over these clouds. Remember though, 
You can't have black clouds and blue skies. That doesn't work. It doesn't happen. So, just ease off a little bit. Good. I'm going to get a new brush. The reason I get a new brush is so that at any point I can go back to readjust any of these areas that I've touched. If I change my mind. Okay, new brush. And I'm going to bring in a bit of darkness to these areas. Wait, let me click done. And then try. That's better. Now, as you can see, I'm just going around and whatever catches my eye, I will play around with. I like that a lot better. Do a bit more here. Just to create some interesting light. Let's uh, not forget where we came from. Before and after. Yep. I like it. I like it a lot better. Alright. I think um, at this point I'm gonna leave it alone. So there you go, go and apply these techniques and um, have some fun, bye.